Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Avatar for 2023 review, and this one's on the Skimwing Adventure, of course. And this, so on, on the front of the box, have the LEGO Avatar logos, and also interesting border that there is, and picture of the Skimwing rise, rising up from out of the water, and also the two minifigs included, and Recommended ages is eight and up. Set number seven five five seven eight has two hundred fifty nine pieces. Then flip to the back and see the like little display bit going on of the set and how to uh, and the few features of it and that and there and to the instruction manual of which a little different picture of that but digital. But other rendering of it, of course. And after the Lego Builder app, and also changing over to paper bags, and then how to win on the online survey, and then all the pieces that come with the set, and then add for all the avatar sets that there are. Here. And then, of course, the last building steps. And also, different thing that they are adding to the manuals is this little artwork bit to it with a QR code underneath that, and of course. And of course, in the center, a couple of screenshots from the movie. Okay, but yeah. So now, on to our two minifigs included with the set. As we which have Jake Sully, a new, another variant of him, and also. Uh, Tanawari, yeah, of course, who is exclusive to that. So for Jake Sully, of which, as you see, all everything to him quite exclusive to this set, except for the face print, which did come in the Tree of Souls set, of course. And of course, holding the old style uh, crossbow piece, or the usual crossbow piece, instead of the stunt shooter variant. And the hair piece, which kind of same as he had it in a few other sets of that. But as for Tanawari, as you see, it's kind of the same uh, minifig pieces as the other Nafis, but in this bright aqua blue color, which is nice to see there. And for his torso print, leg printing, all quite good, and his face printing, also done good, but also. Same exact hairpiece as Jake kind of has, but not sure why. I think it's probably to save a bit of that. And also his spear piece, kind of similar to both compare it same as the spears in the first waves, but instead has two ends to it made with uh, Nexonite's uh, blade pieces there. And on the back side, which as you see has some slight back torso printing on both of them. And of course, same exact tail pieces, but in this aqua color. And as I said in my last review, I think should have been in flat bin like since in the movie they kind of tend to be, of course, but yeah. And so now that's about it with the mini figs here. And now to one, uh, four, three. It, which, as you see, comprise of a, like very few pieces, including the, being like a few corner plates there. See, like a cone piece and also a flower piece represent most likely to represent a little bit of coral there, and also this little coral piece in the uh, recent pinkish coral color. Very nice to see there, and of course. Uh, all green uh, jagged slope there. So, so it's kind of simple, but well works out. And of course, enough room to 
and also do get one of the like action pose plate pieces there to put in me like, onto of course represent look like they're truly swimming of course and next bit of which as you can see which is still using a few uh, plate pieces there and also a couple of regular cones for that at least quite small but well effective and also on one side it has a little clip piece there of which holding a green light green fish piece on and of course a large uh, aqua kind of color a jagged slope there very nice to see and a couple of technic bits sticking out to it mostly to display the skin wing which i'll show later and also these horn pieces cattle horn pieces of which in purple nice to see there of which nice to use mocking and that's about it for that bit and now onto the skim wing itself which i see kind of long quite long and at first glance it does feel kind of like crocodile like or guard like since it's probably what the skim wing is based upon and of course same wing effect as we had with the bantings and also the eye loop as for some as for the headpiece which I, I think is sculpted to pretty much perfection although I think he could have at least included a pupil effect in the eyes of course but although for the headpiece and printing on it done great really. and that's for the jaw fit which does clip in and up and out or in and out just like the banshees and the ilu and also torak of course and also and also like the other creatures do get the whip pieces acting as antennas or antenna like whip bits so of course and also further down you get these little fin like pieces just acting as little pictorial fins and that's for this upper bit of which as you see has see a little bit of snot going on with this like facing forward and also like we saw in the eye blue these corner kind of plate kind of bits acting as upper pectoral fins and also a couple studs on there oh which enough to beat one of your not the any pigs on to and get this on the hair piece obviously and voila and then moving further down as you see it has a lot of sand blue so of course plenty of good sand blue to include here and have a few uh, semi brightish blue blue or aqualish blue acting as like like back protrusions but as for the wings here or thin wings I see which do have a translucent kind of effect in them just like as we saw on the banshees in the first wave of course but unlike with all the other some of the other creatures is they kind of pivot up and down and of course as in the movie they when they're submerged they have their, their oh, fin wings kind of folded inwards but oddly enough they just don't uh, fold down sideways it's because of like how the wings are built which are just few technique bits but all I think should have at least included like little some little pivoting kind of motion to have it go downwards of course yes, but that's at least still kind of workable and also for this for these sections of which one of which has a mixel ball joint and one with a clickety ratchety type of joint so you can so it has a couple two points of movement on there 
And as for this back section, which has some goods knocked using this, these lower kind of plate brick pieces for that. And for the far end, which comprised with that Barnacle Mystica wing piece, nice to see in this, uh, still going on in this theme. But however, in Sam Blue, nice to see here. And also what's so called uh, Thanos' sword or just or helicopter blade or whatever but used as the back lower part of the tail fin and as for the bottom side which is comprised of a lot of tan for that and also do have one plus rock connect but also, although I think what could have been nice is if have this these roundish piece but all the way down to there so you can like skid around your surface easier and now to, of what this kind of piece is for is with this display section from earlier or connect on like so and you got it displayed quite well so and of course plenty good and again plenty good plausibility for this skim wing of course And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is a, a quite very good set for how it is. So that for the mini figs, I think I wish we could have gotten a little extra, like, generic, uh, or generic uh, Reef Clan Navi, since, of course, you see them riding a lot of these in it, and, or just two or just generic ones instead of just Jake and Tanaro, Tanawari. Makes sense. So making, because if it were like that, then it'd be just like right for army building like we do in like all the stormtroopers and clone troopers in Star Wars, of course. But at least still nice, to, but, uh, but aside from that, still nice to get a exclusive variant of Jake and also an all new Naki minifig, of course. But also this set, which also works out as a good parts pack, like a few uh, common pieces, but recolored for, for that. But So at least it's still a win for that. And for the price point of which, at $35, so which kind of steep for that. But I think 30 could have been still worth it, or still workable, but yeah. And if you're looking to get some for your uh, avatar collector, or get this for your avatar collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking for something to go alongside the ILU Discovery reset, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.